super quick video today guys on procrastination and this it comes from a, a very short question and it's about the person calls about talks about their laziness problem now if you've ever if you've read my book or if you've uh, if you've ever read it or seen any of my other videos uh, laziness has nothing to do with it but I'm gonna answer this question super quick it says hi David I've read so many books and watched so many videos on procrastination and motivation and that's a tendency you know i see a lot of people spending more time watching videos on it than, uh, than anything else but if anything i feel more confused now than ever so what would you say is the most important thing about overcoming this issue and i'd appreciate a simple short answer if possible i'm going to give you here to answer this question the mantra of the procrastinator okay what is the story of a procrastinator in a simple sentence? Now, Neil Fiore's work on procrastination is very good. He talks about a lot of this as well. But here's the sentence that, that sums up procrastination. I have to complete it all perfectly. And I have no time for fun because this work defines me. Okay, that's the sentence. Pretty much everything in procrastination is defined in that sentence. The, all the problems, about five problems are summed up in that sentence. I have to complete it all perfectly. I have no time for fun because this work defines me. First of all, have to. I have to do it. Start to challenge every time you use that term, have to. There's always a choice and actually it's removing choice from you, that term. And it's taking away all credit for every positive choice you make. You need to challenge this idea of have to. I have to complete it all. In other words, finishing. When the nervous system hears that it has to finish something all, it's going to shut down. It's not going to play a ball. So we need to just focus on not on finishing anything, but starting small, easy, consistent steps. Finishing takes care of itself. That's number two. Number three, I have to, com I have to fin complete it all perfectly. When, again, when the nervous system hears this term perfect, Perfect is so, it's so ill-defined, It's it, you can't define it really. So the nervous system has nothing, it, it feels very threatened by that idea, and rightly so. So getting rid of this idea that anything has to be done perfectly. Things should be done imperfectly. So things to, should be done, at, at, especially at the beginning, on a, at, at a very poor level. You know, if you have to write an essay, for instance, the first draft should be a bad draft. You know, just write the bad draft. Aim for a terrible essay. That's what I always tell people. Aim for a terrible essay. Editing improves the essay. I have to complete it all perfectly. There's no time for fun. Okay, no time for fun. We, one of the biggest things in, in my book I talk about is you have to have fun in your life if you are a procrastinator and it has to be a priority. Huge boundary issue there if there's no time for fun. You're really telling your subconscious work is way more important than I am. So it's a huge problem. The, the, again, the nervous system does not respond to that well. It sees, oh my God, there's only time for difficult obligations in my life. This is a problem and it's gonna shut down, right? It's gonna go into that fight, flight or freeze response. I have to complete it all perfectly. There's no time for fun because this work defines me. This work defines me, that's number five. When we think that our work defines us, is it any wonder that the nervous system is going to react against it? So we have to start to do some inner work challenging this idea that my work defines me. You know, my YouTube videos define me. Not really, you know, or whatever work you do personally defines your value as a human being. That's what we're talking about. So it doesn't, it's just something I'm doing now. It's an experiment. I'm trying out this one time, this one moment of my life, this one project does not define my self-worth in my life. So we have to again start challenging some of those beliefs, right? So when you start to look at that sentence, I have to complete it all perfectly. There's no time for fun because uh, this defines me. We almost want to start to speak into the nervous system in the exact opposite terms to that, okay? And this is changing our story. This is gonna be a much more beneficial way to talk to the nervous system. Really the, the, the whole approach in overcoming procrastination is learning the new language of, well, the language of your nervous system. How do you respond to this part of you that is resi resistant and reluctant to engage with work? Because it feels overwhelmed and afraid. 
it's not rational. So that's not going to be how you speak to it. We have to speak to it on an emotional level. And it's about changing our story, okay? Changing our story and uh, magical things happen. You know, amazing things happen when we reconcile with that part of ourselves. I said I'd keep this short, I'm gonna keep it short. So I hope that was useful and uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye for now.